This week, we pulled this. What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode three of Weekly Pulls. I am very excited for this week because we have got six amazing cards to talk about today, some of which are promos. You know I have a soft spot for those, uh, but we do have two that are just really awesome cards that I'm excited to jump into. Again, just want to mention all these cards came from Cardsphere.com. That's where I'm pretty much running this series. Uh, it's a really fun place where you can kind of add cards to your want list, pick them up as at a price that you name, or if you're looking to sell some cards, you can do the same thing, but in reverse. So you can actually look and see what people are offering and hopefully make a, ch uh, a sale uh, through their platform. It's a fantastic site. I do recommend it. Uh, I use it often, obviously, uh, hence this whole series, and I really enjoy it. But all that being said, let's jump into the first card. All right, number one on our list is actually not a promo. It's one of two that are not. Uh, it is Chandra, Fire of Kaladesh. Now, this is a really cool card uh, and represents a really interesting cycle of Planeswalkers that came out during Magic Origins. It was essentially their, when their spark was igniting. So we had like flip Planeswalkers of uh, Chandra, we had Gideon, we had Jace, uh, I believe we had Nyssa. Uh, and then one more, Liliana? Yeah, Liliana. Um, and they were really cool because essentially if you met a certain requirement, you could then flip it and then on the reverse side we have the actual Planeswalker. So in this case it is Chandra Roaring Flame. A really cool card. Uh, I love these. Chandra's not necessarily the most exciting one uh, out of that cycle. I think Jace definitely is, but... Uh, it is still really cool because of what it represents. This was a really interesting time where we got the first flip Planeswalkers. I think technically the only flip planes. No, excuse me, Nicol Bolas came later. Uh, but really the first instance of that happening in Magic's history, which was really cool. And it did a great job of telling that origin story, which was the whole point of the set. Uh, it was a really special time. I thought I liked Magic Origins quite a bit, so I'm really happy to pick this up. I did only get one. I paid 213 for it, and the current market value is sitting at about 317 so about a dollar profit if I was to sell it right this second at market value. But regardless, it's still a really interesting card with an awesome backstory. All right, next up, we are gonna be jumping into like four straight promos, so get ready. But the first one here is probably the least exciting, but still a very beautiful card, Kiora's Follower. Uh, this is a Born of the God promo, uh, which features kind of that full art mentality. I absolutely love this card. It's abusable in a lot of different things, but I really picked this up because one, again, I'm a sucker for promos, but two, uh, the art on this is just absolutely stunning. The colors that you get, the vivid colors that you get out of this, are just beautiful. Uh, like I said, there are actually a lot of useful cards or, or useful places for a card like this. I think being able to untap target permanent uh, is very, very useful. Uh, in fact, sometimes I think there, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there are a few combos that you can really bank on with uh, with Kiora's Follower, which is really sweet. Uh, but overall, not the most powerful card, not the most exciting card, to be honest, but it's just really beautiful, and I love picking up cards like this. Uh, I did only get one of these as well. I paid $1.26 for it. Uh, market value sitting at uh, about 173 Not a huge profit by any means, uh, and not really looking for a huge profit. This isn't necessarily the most profitable card in the world. It's just a really cool one. All right, next up, we are jumping into another promo. Uh, this one is the Game Day Terminate promo. <clears throat> I, uh, I absolutely love Terminate. It's a fantastic removal spell. Uh, and to be able to pick up the original Game Day promo with that beautiful full art, uh, just kind of style to it. I love these cards. These, uh, these are some of my favorite just kind of frame styles that we get in Magic. Uh, and so every once in a while, I like to pick a few of these up. We actually got uh, one more that's in this exact style that I'm excited about too. But uh, Terminate, obviously a very lucrative card. I think this is a, a fantastic spell in a lot of different places. Makes a great just kind of general kill spell in Cube. Uh, in Jund, it's a good one. Uh, it's certainly great in other places as well, but just the fact that it's a two mana uh, uh, kill spell is is easily, you know, very flexible, very, very good. So I absolutely love this. The art is absolutely crazy, uh, which is fun. I uh, did only get one of these, but I believe I've got a few more coming in. If I do, uh, I will not put them in another video because I don't want to repeat any of the cards, but still a really interesting one. Uh, I did pay uh, $4.36 for this. Market value is at five, or excuse me, at $4.54. Uh, so really not a huge increase by any means, but again, just a really cool card to pick up. Uh, love picking up these game day promos, uh, just absolute favorites. 
Speaking of game day promos, the next one we have is Sign in Blood uh, game day promo. Again, only picked up one of these, but such a cool card and actually a little higher value than I thought it was uh, than I thought it would be. But a really awesome card for sure. Uh, the the art on this is awesome. There's something about the perspective of it, that forced perspective, that I just absolutely love. Uh, and again, that full art frame just making it really special as well. So one of my favorites. I'm really happy I was able to pick this one up. Again, a fairly lucrative card in a lot of different like draft scenarios, things like that, and definitely can be played and constructed too. It's not bad at all. Uh, and so uh, again, not not a super valuable card, but definitely just a cool one. Uh, I really like this a lot. Uh, again, the artwork, amazing. Uh, I did pay $6.76 for this one, uh, and it looks like the market value at the moment is sitting right around $7.51. Uh, so a little bit higher value than we got the Terminate for, but just an absolutely stunning card. Super happy to pick it up. Uh, any game day promos, I'm, I'm all for. All right, the last promo on the list for today is a beautiful Mitotic Slime. This is another game day promo, albeit a, kind of a different frame here, uh, and foil, which is really awesome. Uh, usually these foil cards don't really hold up well, and you can actually kind of see, uh, maybe, it's probably a little difficult here, but it's got a bit of a curl to it. Uh, it's not actually as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest, uh, but generally that's kind of the problem with a lot of these older foils, uh, and obviously today's foils as well. Uh, but uh, still an awesome card. I love that the fact that it's full art. We get a lot, of more, a lot more of just the beautiful picture that we want, you know what I'm saying? And so those full art cards, again, are just a favorite of mine. Uh, never actually used this card before. Don't know if it's super viable, but just wanted to kind of pick it up. I found it in randomly searching on Scryfall and I just find cool cards that I'd like to collect. Uh, and so this one came up and I was like, yeah, absolutely. It's a cool card. Uh, so I'm very happy to pick this one up. I do want to kind of try it in some different places, whether that be drafting like a cube draft uh, or maybe a constructed deck somewhere, but it's just fun. Uh, good old fashioned kitchen table magic love stuff like this. So I think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, I did pay 604 for it. Uh, market price is about 637. Uh, so again, not the most uh, valuable card in the world <clears throat> um, and didn't get a huge return on it by any means either. Uh, but it's still a cool one. Again, it's just those little collection items I think are really fun. Uh, and these game day promos make a perfect addition to any collection. All right, guys, we are coming on to the last card of today's list. Uh, and I gotta say, I couldn't be more excited for this one. These are really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, and there's a lot to talk about here. I'll go ahead and say we got two of them. Original Onslaught Wooded Foothills. Uh, these are obviously part of the, of the fetch land cycle. Uh, so if you don't know, these are really, really good at, for multiple reasons. One, they're good for deck thinning. They can pull out certain lands that not necessarily every fetch land can pull out. Uh, things like Evolving Wilds, things like that, have to search for basics. Uh, Wooded Foothills, along with every other true fetch land, uh, just has to have the name swan or, or excuse me in this case mountain or forest in it so uh, you could pull out an actual dual land you could pay, uh, pull out a shock land you could pull out uh, I believe the the bicycle lands you could pull out as well like lots of awesome uh, tech that you can do with these kinds of lands uh, and the originals are absolutely beautiful we've had a number of reprints of these uh, at least a couple that I can think of uh, and they're very good I, I like the reprints they, they did feature some new artwork which I thought was great uh, and we've had some like expedition versions of these as well uh, in fact I have a few expedition versions just right here uh, but uh, never really got to pick up the originals I do have an, uh, the original um, uh, white blue fetch can't think of the name uh, but I did get one of those from card sphere like years ago uh, but I never picked up any of the Wooded Foothills, so I thought I'd pick these up today. Uh, only got two of them, still got two on my want list. I'm hoping to get those out very soon, but these fetch lands are oh, just prime pickups. They, they are amazing cards, very useful, very functional, uh, but also just beautiful pieces of artwork. And so can't, can't be too upset picking these up. Uh, pretty good value here as well, I will say. Uh, I paid $32.13 for them, uh, for each of them. Uh, and the, the market value price per card is about $40.03. Uh, so a pretty good return overall, to be honest. Um, and the fact is, these are just always going to be useful and valuable cards. So you really can't be too upset picking them up. Hopefully, uh, if any of you guys have some of those original fetches, jump on cards here, send them to me. But uh, they're, they're really worthwhile keeping. They're, they're fantastic cards for obvious reasons.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Weekly Pulls. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank uh, Cardsphere as well for being just an awesome platform for this kind of content. It really does make it fun. You, you never really know what you're going to get, so it's kind of a, a cool experience to be able to do that. Uh, let me know down below what kind of pulls you have had throughout your week. Is there something really awesome that you were able to pick up, whether you got it from a pack or you bought the single, whatever it was, I would love to know about it. Please share it down below in the comment section. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you next week for episode four of Weekly Pulls.